Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Winning with Jesus. It is April 15th, and it's time to top Jesus, baby. This is Winning with Jesus, and I'm your host, Diane Hernandez. Praise and worship first, and then we'll get into the Word. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. 1069 is the radio station in Pennsylvania. Check it out. It's awesome. Inspirational. Praise and worship every morning. He's worthy. It's a good one. I will day that we all really enjoy, but hopefully you are being blessed this tax season and getting a return refund instead of having to pay. So let's pray and see what the Lord has to say about taxes. <sighs> Heavenly Father, thank you so much for a beautiful day. Another day of life, another opportunity to get to know you and get our lives right. <sighs> Father, you bring such joy into my heart, and I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for you, Father. Thank you for my forgiveness, your mercy, and your grace. Father, I ask that you're with those who are watching now and later. Let them know who you are. Let them know how much you love them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, so if you're new to me, <laughs> my name is Diana Hernandez, and I... Oh, goodness, my hair. 
I'm a girl that, you know, looks halfway decent sometimes. Other times, not so much. But I don't really care because I want the focus to be on the Lord. So today we're going to be looking at Matthew 22, 17. Well, let's just do 20, Matthew 22, 15, okay? <sighs> Paying taxes to Caesar. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him, meaning Jesus, in his words. They sent their dis disciples to him along with the Herodians. Teacher, they said, we, <clears throat> we know you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by men because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then, what, are your, what is your opinion? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, knowing their evil intent, evil intent, he knows them, said, you hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for paying tax. They brought him a denarius and asked him, whose portrait, and he asked them, whose portrait is this? And whose inscription? Caesar's, they reply. Then he said to them, give Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. So they left him and went away. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. Now, the only thing we got to make sure that we pay our taxes, okay? Because unless you're out Sharpton, then you're going to get in trouble for not paying your taxes. But do that just because you have to. But give God what is God's because you want to. Now, what does what is God's? Let's think about it. Our bodies. Because God made us, right? We had nothing to do with this body. We had nothing to do with this face. We had nothing to do with how long we live. So we're to honor God with our bodies. The bo our body is where the Holy Spirit resides. Okay? So if you're sitting there and you're putting alcohol or drugs into your body, you're poisoning your body. If you're eating fattening, greasy food that's unhealthy, you're poisoning your body with disease and unhealth. And that's not fair. The Holy Spirit lives in you. You don't want him living in the ghetto, do you? Not even the people who live in the ghetto live, want to live in the ghetto, right? So why are we doing that to the Holy Spirit? So honor your body by drinking water, having fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, things of the earth. Try and do organic if you can. I know that's really hard for some of us because it's expensive. And, you know, I ain't claiming to eat organic, you know, but I try to eat a lot of roots, fruits and vegetables. I try to avoid pork, although it's awfully it's so tasty. But I did see an article. I mean, I did see a video of, like, these pork chops just being sat out. And then maggots started coming out of it or worms. So, you know, just, <laughs> just understand that, you know, pork's not the best thing. But the Lord just saying. Don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear. So just honor your body for the Holy Spirit. Number two, give God your family. If you're the only Christian in your family who wants to go to church or who believes in the Lord, bring it out. Uh, every time I go to family events, I'm speaking about the Lord, about what, how he's blessing me. I pray for others. We pray before eating. Thanksgiving, I always give the, the prayer. It's important to show people that you are not ashamed of God and that he blesses you, okay? Because some people just, they don't know, okay? And don't fault them for not knowing because they don't know how good God is because they don't have God and they don't know God. So if you do, it's up to you to let them know. And I'm not saying... Oh, you should be, you should repent and the days are coming. I do do that. But I'm saying that we should be a reflection of Christ. Be kind to others. Be generous. Give of your time. Give of your money if you can. You know? What else? So we have our bodies and our family. Give God your time. 
He gives you every second of the day on this planet. Every single solitary second. Whether it's good or bad, he gives it to you. He doesn't have to do that. Remember, people die like that. The drop of a hat. I just knew this man last week. He was alive, partying at the bar. Boom. Next week he's dead. And that's horrible. But he knew Jesus. And he was struggling. But he knows. I know where he is and I know I will see him again. But life is fleeting. So give your time to God. Because the more time you give to God, the more he's going to bless you and give back to you. And I'm not saying that that's why you should do it. I'm not saying, oh, do this because then he's going to do this. No, do this because it's the right thing to do. And it makes you feel so good every day that I'm in the word, every day that I'm in prayer, every second that I'm in prayer, giving thanks. It makes me feel so good. I went to church yesterday at Faith City Church in um, Christiana, Delaware. And it was amazing. The Holy Spirit was there. He filled the room. He filled the people. People were crying and screaming out and praising and worshiping. It was amazing. It was amazing. I wish that you guys could feel that. The Holy Spirit engulfs you. It's like you're a helium balloon and you're like, and he fills you and you're like, oh my God, I can't even breathe. I can't even breathe. Oh it feels so awesome. It's really so awesome. But give time to him. He just wants to spend time with you so that you know who he is, that you know that you can depend on him for every single solitary thing you need. You guys, Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I just started my walk. Well, I was, I'm born again 15 years, right? But I started this walk a thousand percent in August of last year, 2018. And I have to tell you how my life has changed. I finally have a home which is an apartment, but I don't want a real, I don't want a house anyway. I want an apartment because I like to move and I'm going to be traveling. Beautiful apartment. He has helped my son get back on track when he was kind of going a little astray. He has broken me from alcoholism and drug use. Now, I've never been a drug addict. I'm just saying, marijuana. You can't, but I don't even want to do it anymore. And now that I'm finally clean and sober, I feel amazing, you guys. I feel so amazing. My skin looks amazing. My body feels amazing. I feel strong, even though I'm pretty thin right now because of other things. I feel amazing. And it's all because I've given myself to God. And when you give your life to God, your sins will start disappearing. Your thoughts will change. And I promise you, your life will change. So just like you give Caesar what is Caesar's, Give God what is God's, which is your time, your family, and your body. Give him everything you have. Give him your knowledge. Give him your fears. Give him your worry. And give him your hope. He will never let you down. Try him. I guarantee it. That's it for me. I hope you're enjoying my show. If you are, give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram for a lot of cute pictures. And on Facebook, when I'm back on Facebook, May 5th or May 8th. Um, but if not, I'll always be here on YouTube. Have a wonderful day. And remember, be blessed and be a blessing.